Alright guys, um, I'm back and this time I have a really really special guest with me and uh, this person really does not need an introduction if you know him but um, this is Divya Tana Bhattacharji and um, if you guys do not know him he is from the same high school that I go, Chirong Grammar School so this is a simple video where he demonstrates or he just shares his experience on how he went from Chiragong to Yale and eventually to Google. So hi Dibobai. Hey Dibro, what's up? Uh, I'm great, I'm great. Um, so Dibobai, uh, first of all, uh, the fact that I'm here in your bedroom taking a, <laughs> taking an interview with you, like it's, it's surreal because it has been a dream for long and obviously you guys want to know about everything when it comes to the college admission process and whatsoever. So today I have one of the most prominent figures of the country when it comes to things like the university applications, etc. So, uh, first of all, introduce yourself. Uh, sure, so I'm Dibbo. Um, I, I went to the same high school as Dibbo, Jiren Grammar School. I uh, then did my bachelor's and master's from Yale in computer science, and now I'm working uh, full time as an engineer in the Bay. In the Bay? In which company? I'm working at Google. Great, great, great. So, uh, what was the main uh, inspiration that led you to computer science, the subject itself? Um, so... <laughs> I know I that's guess, a very big yeah. question, but like... Uh, yeah, that's a big question. Um, so I started uh, getting a little into computer programming, uh, maybe around 8th grade in high school. Um, and then I chanced upon uh, a programming contest. Um, so I started doing that and I really liked that. Um, there were lots of, or there was one like the the informatics Olympiad that uh, that I did a lot throughout high school, and so my interest in programming started through programming contests. Um, and then when I was in high school, I started looking into a little more of like things aside, things in computer science aside from programming contests, uh, like a little bit of machine learning or like yeah. a little bit of. Uh, theory, um, yeah, and that, so I decided to study computer science in college too, and it's been fun so far. <laughs> great, great, great. That's that's really great to hear. So, starting from high school, mm -hmm. so how was the college um, admission process? Like, was it tedious, or what was the main drawback that you faced, or something you could have improved? The other areas where you believe that the college is really liked about you. Uh, okay, so what was difficult? Um, I started really late. All right. I only started caring about applying to colleges uh, summer after junior year, uh, summer uh -huh. after 11th grade. All right. um, so that was really late. If anyone's doing that, please, uh, if, or if anyone's planning to do that, yeah. please don't do that. Start, er start early. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I had to take a lot of like the, the SAT and like the language tests, all of that in like in the span of two months. Yeah, yeah. And that was not nice. I had to write a lot of essays in like two months. Um, that was also not nice. So um, that was mostly, uh, if you ask me about the difficult parts of applying, that was the most difficult uh, aspect of applying. Just, just uh, getting everything to line up with it. Yeah, that's good. And what was the hook? Like, what you believe was the main part of your application that made you stand out amongst the other candidates, considering Yale has a really, really low acceptance rate. Um, you know, that's that's a little hard for me to say. Uh, I guess. Yeah. So I really wanted in my application to show that I was like uh, genuinely passionate about. Uh, programming contests uh, and, and just computer programming in general. I think I did a good job of showing that. Um, other, other than that, it's kind of hard to say what worked without actually looking at your, like, yeah, the, entire, uh, the entire application. I don't re really remember a lot of that either. Uh, but I think, you know, what people say, as cliche as it may sound, what people say about showing your really showing your passion yeah uh putting that in words i think that's the key part but like just just really work on your essays make sure that they yeah. reflect um, your passion and 
and I guess at the end of the day, we must remember that the process is really holistic, and it's all about luck at the end of the day. Do you agree with me on that? I wouldn't say it's all about luck. Uh, there's a small amount of luck involved, uh, but I think if you really want, if you really try, and if you really want to do it, then uh, it's yeah, it's it's going to happen. Uh, you can. Well, that's great that to hear. Luck. Yeah. All right, so that was good to hear from a software engineer in Google. All right, guys. So you guys must be wondering, uh, like, what are the hints? What are the suggestions? And some opinions from a person as experienced as he is. So, do you have any suggestion or any opinions? And just a bit of a, you know, hack or strategy for the ones who are applying next season. Um, I don't know about hacks. Right. I can just give uh, give you general advice, maybe. Um, uh, like I said before, don't. Uh, wait until the last minute uh, start working on your essays as soon as you can maybe like even in the summer before you apply um, and don't feel shy to get your essays reviewed by as many people as you need to uh, a lot of us at least I know that was a thing for me in high school we're not good at receiving uh, feedback receiving criticism about our work uh, but try to get over that these essays are really important and getting them reviewed by more people means um, you're less likely to make uh, silly errors or uh, leave something embarrassing in there. So yeah, just uh, really make sure that your essays are good and, and have been reviewed by a lot of people. Yeah, that's a great way of saying it because most of us, you know, are so confident in our work Mm -hmm. that uh, we do not realize that we might be making mistakes that are correct, that seem correct to us but maybe someone else, of course, someone really um, uh, a bit more experienced than we are can have a better feedback and personally speaking, I got my essay checked by him and the way I was thinking about it was different from the way he was thinking about it and so different people have different ways of viewing your essays and essays are one of the most important if not the most important part of your application right yeah it's very important it's really important so yeah just keep like keep that into account and scores are not the ultimate thing because they look into you as a person and that that's what holistic means right yeah. scores are important like there's no way of denying that but it's not the most important thing so like you think we should focus on extracurriculars and the the places we're passionate about apart from the academics, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, of course. Uh, whatever you're passionate about, it could be something very academic, uh, it could be something that's not very academic. Right. Whatever you're passionate about, just make sure it's on your application, uh, make sure you've talked about it, um, and then it should work. Exactly. So, yeah, I guess this is the end to the undergrad part. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Sure. So hi Deepu Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> that was bad. Alright guys, so regarding the undergrad uh, admissions, there are a couple of uh, tips and strategies and mainly suggestions that we... SHIT! Kisha. <laughs> hey, hey Deepu. Hey Deepu, what's up? Uh, I'm great. Uh